Hi, today we're going to be talking about keyword research. Keyword research is extremely important if you run a website or blog because you want that website or blog to rank high on Google search engine results. And so it's kind of important to know what are people typing into Google to look for their content. It's very, very, very important, but it's also kind of easy to ignore sometimes because, and I'm horrible about this, you assume you know what people are going to be looking for. If I'm going to be looking for free ebooks to download, I'm going to type in free download ebooks. And so when you do a site for that, you assume that's what people are going to be looking for and that's what you're going to try to optimize for. The problem is people may or may not be typing that into Google. It's really worth taking the time to look to find out what are people actually searching for so you can optimize to that. Because you can't optimize to everything. You can really only optimize for two to three things on each page. So there's a couple strategies you can do to try to combat that and we're actually going to discuss that in a post this weekend. But it's very, very important regardless to know what people are searching for and to look for those keywords. What we're going to look at right here is the one Google provides for free. As part of Google AdWords, they have a keyword tool. Two things I'm going to say here right off the bat. Number one, you should create a Google AdWords account. It's completely free. You're not going to have to start an advertising campaign, but it's going to give you a little more information if you have a Google AdWords account and you're logged in than if you don't. The second thing I'm going to say here is Google AdWords isn't the only keyword search tool and it's not necessarily the best. What it is is free. There's a lot of other ones out there that people swear by. They say they're really good, but they're kind of pricey. You know, there's a couple that are $400 a year say to join. It's tough when you're an author. Your budget is probably next to nothing, if not exactly nothing. And so it's really tough to kind of justify that cost. You're not selling products you know, per se, they're going to be moving in high volume. You're doing your books. You're trying to get noticed. So this is a great one to get started. So right here you can see you can enter your website over here, a word or phrase here. Even though it's a website, I'm going to start off by entering with our website. Click search. And so now Google has, you know, gone out, it's looked at my website, it's seen some of the terms that the website's talked about, and it's recommending some terms down here. So what you have here is you have the keywords that it's recommending you have competition. Now what this basically is, is like I said, this tool is basically designed to help out those who are doing pay-per-click campaigns with Google. And so this is how contested that keyword is. So if you want to look and you want to optimize your site for Nook eReader and you're going to pay for an advertising campaign, you're probably going to have to pay a little bit more because the competition is a little more fierce. Not really concerned about that because we're not going to pay for anything. We're trying to do this all for free global monthly searches and local monthly searches I'm in the United States so my local monthly searches means the United States global obviously the rest of the world one thing to note here you're looking at free ebook downloads and so you see global monthly searches 450,000 local monthly searches 90,000 so you're assuming hey that's how many times people are typing free ebook downloads into Google each month not necessarily true because this is kind of geared towards a pay-per-click advertising type of model, that's kind of how many exposures those terms would get if your ad was going for that. So what you want to come, that's not what we want. So what we want to do is come over to here. We want to check exact, so it's the exact term, and uncheck broad. And now you can see the term free ebook downloads has changed. It's gone from 450,000 to 14,000 global. And then this over here is down to 6,000. This is the actual number you're looking for. This is how many times people are typing that in to Google each month. So every month, on average, about 15,000 people are typing in free ebook downloads in the world, and about 6,500 people are typing it into the United States. So, okay, now we can look down here and we can see some of the other terms that it's recommending. Some of them may be good to optimize for, some of them not. Let's pick one here, though. Okay, we have romance books. So let's type that term up here. It's important too when the term keywords, whenever you hear that in SEO, it doesn't necessarily mean a word itself. It can mean a short phrase. So let's do romance books. Search the exact stays on over here. And so, okay, and we can sort right here. We'll come and sort by local monthly searches. All right. So you can see the top one, Amazon books. That's nothing you're ever going to get traffic on by optimizing for the keywords Amazon books. So one thing we can come up here and you see this option, only show ideas closely related to my search terms. Let's check that. Let's click search again. 
All right, now we're on to something. Now you have the paranormal romance books. 2,400 people searching for it globally, 1,300 locally. Okay, that can be something optimized for if it's something that I write. Vampire romance book, another one right here. So this is starting to give you some good ideas and some actual raw numbers. So maybe you thought, you know, the thing to optimize for was good romance books. You can come down here and see 320 people a month are searching for that. Whereas if you come down here, let's see, do, 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 do. what's a good one? Best romance books of 2010, 140. So like I said, this is just really, really good information to have. And so as you start to play around with that, let's, uh, let's go paranormal romance books. Click search. Okay. Good paranormal romance books. I'll, 111 or 110 a month new paranormal romance books only 73 a month you know maybe you kind of had an idea of what some of these words are but odds are you're gonna find a couple of terms that you didn't necessarily think about and some things are gonna surprise you so now when you go to write your content it's not that you want to completely flood with these key terms but you can just kind of sprinkle them in and get them in there so when people are search hopefully they come across your site a couple of options we'll talk about real quick before we close this down over here we can do exclude terms so if there was necessarily terms that you didn't want to see I don't want to see anything with vampire in there for instance you can type in hit vampire right here and hit search and now it'll exclude any keyword recommendation that has vampire in it the advanced options right here by default mines United States I'm looking for English adult ideas didn't apply to me and then show ideas and statistics for I have mine set desktop and laptop but if you just specifically for some reason are going for mobile devices you can do that too so that's pretty much a uh, introduction of Google AdWords get in there play around with it you saw how quick it is even playing around with it spending 15 minutes here can save you so much time and do so much for your blog or for your website and we're going to talk about we're going to post a couple articles on the website about what to do with this information but right now this is a really good first step you know the first thing you should do is brainstorm get some ideas figured out hey maybe some words maybe talk to a friend hey if you were looking for this what would you type into Google then maybe you know look at some competitors you know hey some successful authors see what they're optimizing for bring the words here type them in play around identify a couple you think would be good and like I said try to sprinkle those into your content you don't flood but you sprinkle and hopefully your website or your blog will start to climb the Google rankings when people type those searches in so thank you very much I hope this uh, video helped you out some thank you